Hey everybody, Beyond Drew TV here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new series for Planet Zoo. So this is going to be a little bit different than those of you that are used to uh, my normal sandbox uh, zoos and everything like that. We're actually today going to go ahead and start a new franchise zoo. So it kind of occurred to me that I have only clicked like two buttons, maybe three buttons on this uh, screen here, which is either resume sandbox or my zoos to load in a zoo i have never uh really messed with any of these things here the actual game uh part of planet zoo so uh yeah so basically part of this new uh, direction of the channel where we're actually playing the game and not just doing sandbox mode for uh different games i figured why not come back to planet zoo and try out a franchise mode so i was going between franchise mode and challenge mode since they are similar but i ultimately ultimately landed on franchise because we get to mess with those uh what are they called the leaf points. I'm not sure what they're actually called. Uh, but we can mess with the leaf points and that's online and maybe interact with um, some people in the community and stuff like that. I don't know. It just seems like a more fun um, experience. The challenge mode seems cool offline and all that fun stuff, but I think we're going to go ahead and do the franchise mode online. So we will name our franchise Beyond Drew TV because that sounds like the name we should do. All right. I've no, I've, I have no idea. New rewards. You have a new reward. Uh, we are in the following. 100 Leafs. All right, cool. We have 100 Leafs, everyone. Good job. Um, so, do we just start a new zoo? Franchise achievements? Well, we probably haven't achieved anything, right? I achieved making a franchise. What is this? Animal trade trophies? Oh, man, all these trophies. The community showcase things or the community challenges. Oh, man. Awesome. All right, so let's uh, jump in and start a new zoo. We will start one in Temperate, North America, because that's what I'm usually used to. Uh, name of the zoo. I guess we'll do Beyond Zoo TV. We'll do Beyond yeah, Beyond Zoo TV for the uh, first zoo. Sound good? Sounds good. Uh, medium? I don't know. Uh, in medium difficulty, you can expect animals never get bored of enrichment items. Never? Okay. Guests won't request refunds. And five guest happiness rating requires an average of 80... I don't know what that means. But sure, medium sounds good. Right? <laughs> so yeah, as we go through this, I know that there's going to be a bunch of you that are going to get so frustrated with the way that I play. But just remember, I've never done franchise mode or anything like it um, in this game. So you will have to coach me. You'll have to train me. You'll have to teach me how to uh, be better at the game here. So let's go ahead and demolish this out here. Oh, that cost... Uh, oh, wait, that cost $1,000. Let's leave that then. <laughs> wait. Oh, no, I can't do what I normally do to start off. I need to get out of the sandbox player mindset and into... Um, I, why can't I change the time of the day? Oh, is that a thing? You can't change the time? I guess that makes sense. Shoot, again, I need to get into the mindset of, <laughs> of a heckin' uh, franchise mode where we uh, don't control the time of the day, we have money, we have leaf points, all that fun stuff. Uh, what do we have to start with to like construct and stuff? Do we have like a full-on uh, theme set or like are we kind of limited to what we can build? Okay, so we are limited. Oh, we're limited. Okay, so we're going to have to research? Question mark? Oh gosh, this is going to be great. <laughs> this is going to be great. Uh, what about like facilities? I'm just trying to get my bearings straight and what we can do. Locked? I've never seen that before. Is it locked because we don't have the uh, construction stuff? $150,000 for a guest spawner? Y'all are outside yourself charging that much. What are they going to charge for a power plant thing? A million? Oh, it's only five hundred. dollars I get to charge five hundred dollars for a, a power plant, but then $150,000 for a place where people can come into your zoo. Come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but okay, so we have all the fun stuff there. You know what? It looks like we have the basics to get started, right? Which makes sense. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and get started. I have no idea uh, what I want to do for our entranceway or anything like that, but I'll just kind of start off uh, pretty basic because I'm going to be very afraid uh, that we're going to run out of money. <laughs> <laughs> like extremely afraid uh, and that wouldn't mean that this entire recording would be worthless and I'd have to do it again so let's go ahead and start here let's go out to here and then we're going to tee off I feel like a lot of people do this but it's it's a nice way to start off a zoo right just come up here tee off there we go and we'll go golfing um, and yeah we'll have our first habitat like right out here and it's going to be flamingos if you uh, have followed we're going to make this a little bit longer a little bit longer I hope I get all money back for that. Um, but yeah, we're going to have flamingos for our first animal. As long as we can get it, I should maybe note that we might not be able to get flamingos. Who knows? I'm not sure how this works. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll have our main street come out this way. So we'll have buildings on either side. Uh, and then we'll have a lake out here with flamingos. 
I had to say it like that. So, uh, Flamengo is cool. So let's go ahead and we'll probably real time build this. There's going to be some, we'll kind of go back and forth between real time building and uh, kind of a time lapse and stuff, depending how long it's going to take. Like something like these, uh, all of them. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Something like the main street, if I construct all the buildings at the same time, will probably be a time lapse with something like this habitat. We'll do it real time. We'll kind of hang out and do it real time. So if you want to build along with me, uh, give your suggestions, all that kind of fun stuff as we go. Uh, yeah, we'll have a fun time and build up some flamingos. So flamingos, we're going to start with a shallow body of water. Um, you know, we can maybe do some perspective... No, no, we're not. I was going to do um, it where the water is really deep in the front here and then kind of shallow it off as we go to kind of give a weird perspective, but no, we won't. And we got to remember our size. We don't want to make this too big, right? Because we need to actually save some money. Uh, let's also make the grass short all around here so it's a little bit easier to handle. And this doesn't cost money, does it? No, thank God. <laughs> Woo! There we go. All right, so a little bit easier to tell what's going on. Now, how deep is this? Can I, oh, I have to put water in first. Does water cost money? It's funny, I have to figure out everything that costs money. Oh, we can't do that, it's obstructive. Let's go down a little bit more, just a smidge more. Now, we are gonna cover this up, so it doesn't really fully matter how deep or anything or what it looks like, per se. It kind of matters what it looks like, but, um, but yeah, we are going to cover this up with plaster um, to make it uh, just a little bit, quote unquote, realistic looking. Even though we are uh, shortchanged by a budget, I will still try to keep some of my realistic-ish building going on, right? So, all right, let's go ahead and fill this in. We should be able to put water up to there. Nice, does that cost money? No, it didn't. I, I'm still scarred from RCT, Roller Coaster Tycoon and Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, where um, placing down water costs something like 20 bucks or something like that, a water piece. So, <laughs> uh, cool, let's go ahead and slap down the plaster floor here. All right, so that gives me a better, oh, that's a two by two, that's why, four by four. So this gives me a better idea of how big this is. And again, we're not gonna go all the way to the bottom because if we did, the flamingos would probably be submerged. So we just want it to go up to their ankles. Pretty much just want it to go up to their ankles. So we'll start about there. We'll start about there. Do I have a snap? I do have snapping on, very good. We'll just snap this over. There we go. Let's pick up the let's pick up the pace a little bit with building. So we will hit I to go into our multi-select, and we're gonna make this a building. Merge scenery into a group. So we're gonna move, uh, merge it into a group. Go back, edit it. I'm gonna select everything. Control X, and we're gonna move it over. There we go. I will probably explain more often than not what I'm doing. So those of you that play Sandbox all the time might get a little bit like, yeah, we know, but I do feel like we're gonna reach a kind of a newer audience with the franchise mode. So I might explain what I'm doing just a little bit more for those of you that maybe don't play Sandbox as much. Cause uh, yeah, for those of you that maybe aren't familiar with my builds and stuff, you can definitely check back in the Planet Zoo playlist. I've built uh, Thornton Hill Zoo and um, a bunch of different like DLC zoos and just a whole bunch of kind of fun stuff like that. So I'm definitely, very versed in the sandbox mode or the building aspect. I've been building and playing a game since like Planet Coaster and um, yeah, Planet Zoo's beta and all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, definitely familiar with the building aspect. But yeah, so that would be kind of fun to jump in here and try and see if we can make a real zoo according to the game without going totally bankrupt. We may go a little bankrupt, but maybe we can save it, right? <laughs> so cool, get rid of uh, any unnecessary pieces just in case we do have a big piece count later on in the zoo's life. We can save ourselves some... Yeah, we are paused, right? Yes. Uh, we'll save ourselves some uh, frames per second and stuff. So, all right, let's go ahead and put the barrier down. Uh, we'll kind of map out where our little habitat is gonna be. So yeah, for the most part, it's gonna be a lot of null. Yeah, I think we'll do a lot of null, and then we'll cover it up with our own walls and such. Well, no, that's going to cost some money, isn't it? You know what? Maybe we'll do corrugated, because that only costs a buckaroo. We'll give it the go-away green. If you don't know go-away green, that's... Um, I think it was made famous by painters in general, but more so famous by Disney. Uh, Disney World and Disneyland, where they paint a lot of their backstage buildings. Uh, to be, where are they going to come in? I think they'll come in over here. To be this go away green that <clears throat> looks very uh, similar to a lot of uh, forests and trees and bushes and stuff. So next time you're at Disney, keep an eye out. See if you can spot the 
go away green building. So we're going to bring this down to about 10 meters. We're at 30 meters all day. And we'll go ahead and turn this up. Turn it up this way. Oh, excuse me. Again, we don't want to go too big. We got to kind of keep our money in mind, right? Got to keep the monies in mind. All right, and then we'll bring this over this way. Oh, we need to kind of start. Give me the null. Let's actually null the front part of this up. There we go. And we can get the null really close to the path. We'll extend out using the plus and minus on the keyboard. Extend out our section here. Let's extend this out as well. Same thing, we're going to use the minus key to back this up a little bit. So it says we can get it to be about there, but now if we grab this end and we hit pull forward, see how we can get this actually a lot closer. So keep that in mind. If you uh, want to get these closer, you can pull it, the little node at the very end, and get it right up there. So there we go. Cool. I believe that's a ginormous habitat. We might actually skim it down a little bit. Well, maybe not. It might work out. And we'll, yeah, we'll have them come in this way. There we go. Now, how big is this? Because I, I think the flamingos only need, like... Oh my gosh, it's ginormous. It's huge. Shoot, you know what? We can almost split that in half. Oh, there's an idea. What if he did that? Now, well, let's double check. Before I go all willy-nilly, let's split it in half and all that. Let's set up the rest of what's going on. Because I do know we need to get the staff buildings and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's have a pathway coming down this way. Oh, come on. There we go. It's going to be a little bit borked, but that's okay. All right, so they can come in down here. Looks like they can only go right there. Nice. And then, yeah, we're going to need the facilities, right? Cool. So we'll go to staff facilities. Let's go to our animal trade center. We'll put that right over here. Now, should I put it there or should I maybe put it like back here? Because if we're gonna if we're gonna split this, I'm pretty confident we're gonna split this in half to have two habitats right when we come in. Hmm. For now, we'll put this over here. Boom. We'll put our keeper hut. Same thing. Right there. Uh, now these other things, I don't like the quarantine actually specifically. I don't understand like what that is all about. Actually, there's a question mark thing right here. I have a question. Tell me about quarantine yes quarantine the quarantine can be used to safely isolate sick animals before treatment at a vet surgery it is also used to check over new animals entering the zoo before they are sent out to a habitat there are two sizes with different capacities okay that's nice wait there are two sizes of quarantine with different capacities a small quarantine oh yeah there's small ah so we can get a larger one later on must be powered and have strong negative impact on guests nearby okay all right so yeah we do need that we do need that don't we so let's just make this whole area over here just a little staff uh, building. Well, that costs 4000 Heck. There we go. So there's our quarantine structure. Um, now, I do remember the research center and the workshop are used to research things, uh, which obviously the research center. But So let's leave those for a different area. Um, but what we will do is put our staff building um, over here. Maybe over here trying to think how to make these all a one structure later on because we are going to build this up so it's not just sitting out there right uh cool and then we have the vet surgery so i think i'll put the research center the vet surgery and the workshop kind of all together in a separate structure uh let's yeah actually let's put them down here in the same grid but a separate structure so we have like almost a little uh campus going on back here let's see so what do we need the uh vet surgery which is big cost another four thousand gosh i can see where all our money is going to go We'll put that there, and then we'll put the workshop right over by that there. Maybe back these up just like one. So how much do we pay for all that? So it's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, $14,000 just to set up our staff facilities. We have to get it like that. Holy guacamole. <laughs> um, cool. So I do know that the buildings give off like a neg quote-unquote negative area however i think that's not a great idea for these kind of games i've kind of expressed that before so i'm gonna actually set it up where the guests can get really close to our vet surgery because again every single zoo that i've ever been to 
they've always had it where you can go up and be like, oh, hey, check out what our vets are doing. You know, and no one goes like, ew, I'm looking at a vet surgery. Ugh, my zoo day is ruined. Not once ever <laughs> has anyone said that. So I'm just, I'm not sure why they included it, the that for this game. Um, it might have made more sense to include it for like a Planet uh, Coaster 2 or something like that. But regardless, that whole thing being said, I'm not going to care about the negative guest influence, at least for the vet building. Because, yeah, I just don't think it makes very much sense. So, all right, let's have this go forward a little bit more, and we'll have our pathway connect over. And I probably should get out of that mindset um, for franchising, because I know that's going to, like, punish, like, what we do. But, again, I, just, I can't help it, you know? I can't help it. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Now it wants to go. Cool. All right. So there we go. A little thing. We'll, we'll dress this up a little bit. You know, hopefully reduce the negative impact as much as we can. But again, I just think it's kind of a better idea to kind of have our guests be able to check it out. Let's separate this from the group. I want to move this over just a little bit. There we go. Center it up. Boom. Nice. Cool. Yeah. So we are all set there. Let's get our staff path all set back up. Oops. Staff path. Uh, width is too much, so let's reduce that down. Connect this up. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we have that all good. Let's go to our animal trading now and see what's up with our flamingos. Because this entire time I've kind of been guessing if... There it is, greater flamingo. If the space will be too small or not. Again, I'm pretty sure it will be. Pretty sure it will be uh, too big, rather. Too big, excuse me. But what are you doing charging almost 5,000? Nur, calm down. <laughs> it's, a, it's a flamingo, okay, buddy? It's a flamingo. Or is this the computer? How do you tell if it's the computer or whatever? So the computer, this is probably the computer right here. It cannot be released to the wild. Ah, so things that we do with cash can't be released to the wild. Oh, this looks like a good one. Oh, source, Jesse underscore 11. I'm going to adopt that for 30. We have 200. That's a great flamingo. Bam! Wait, was it? <laughs> I'm not sure if it is. Uh, it looks good, right? Holy cow. Pale to orange pink feathers. All right. Um, let's refresh the list. So we have a male. And we need a female. There's one from the market. That looks pretty good. So we can't release that to the wild. But you know what? It doesn't matter, right? Because our male and females will have bebes. They'll have, oh, God. They'll have bebes. So that female is atrocious and all the other females are too expensive. Here we go. Is this the same one that was bad? No, it's not. Let's get this female as well. Let's get one more male. One more male that might be good. This looks like, this looks like a really good one. Let me just double check. But look at that. That's great. It has a little bronze ribbon. It was, it was judged at a local market. Wait, what happened to our other lady? Didn't I get the lady? Oh, excuse me. I must have missed her. Huh. Is that her right there? I think so. Yes, I believe so. I didn't hit adopt, I don't think. Okay, cool. So now we have... What's going on? <laughs> I think it expired? Is that what happened? Oh, now we're just left with the crappy one. Might have to come back to this in a little bit. Might come back to it, because that's, that's bad, right? That's, there's nothing. There's no redeeming qualities about that. Let me refresh the list one more time. How long is it on? Oh, it's on there for another 28 minutes? Hot dang. Hot dang, man. All right, well, in 28 minutes, we'll uh, I'll come back. In the meantime, we'll send all of these animals to the zoo. No path to destination. Mm, I think it's right there. What are you talking about? It's in a zoo. Hmm. Habitat 1 is ready. There is a path connecting right here and a path connecting right here. Let me get rid of the path, I guess, and we'll reconnect it up. Um, but other than that, we have that. Do I need to hire uh, keepers or whatever? I don't think so. I don't think you need to hire them first, but we will. Put you down. We'll put a keeper down because we need that, right? We need all these things regardless. Mechanic, yeah, we need that right away to do our workshop stuff. I'm going to not do a security guard right off the bat. Not going to. We need a veterinarian. And I'm not going to do an educator to start off either. Okay. So, let's go ahead and we'll open animal storage. And we'll try this. Let me unpause the... No, that's not it. 
I'll do this. Send to zoo. I guess I'll be unpause the game. No path to destination. Um. What are you talking about? Oh, wait. They have to go to quarantine first anyways, right? <laughs> they have to go to quarantine first. So I guess it's a good thing that I, uh, I goofed that up. Maybe that's why I was yelling at me. Like, they have to go to quarantine before we do anything? Send to zoo. Oh, interesting. So now I can send them to the habitat. Do they automatically go to quarantine? If I, like, send them to zoo? Or will they just automatically will they just throw them into the habitat? I gotta test it. I have to test it. I know everyone's gonna yell, like, no, they just go straight to the habitat. You have to send them to quarantine. I have to test it first. Okay, so no, they do. Alright, so let's send these guys into quarantine. Hey. Go to... What is up with this no path to destination thing? <laughs> Go back to the Trade Center. Go back to the Trade Center. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing or not. The quarantine thing is a little bit weird to me still. <laughs> Here we go. Everyone back to the Trade Center. All right. Good stuff. Let's pause the game before guests start coming. Oh, no. We already have 48 guests. We already have 48 of them. Send to zoo. Flamingos into quarantine. Perfect. Okay. So now we have that going. Hello, people. Welcome in. We have $23,000 left over. Uh, let's start to map out our, like, Main Street area. So, guest facilities. Not the $150,000. Oh, my gosh. Guest spawner. Why? <laughs> uh, let's set up our kind of, um, yeah. Again, let's set up our Main Street. I don't think I'm going to be able to build, like, an actual, like, the buildings or anything. We probably are going to get just set up enough. Uh, we're gonna run out of money so but yeah we'll set up our information booth like here there you go let's set up food on this side so we'll do the whatever that was gulpy soda and the chief beef listen for it oh they don't do the cheap they don't do the little jingles like they did in planet coaster <laughs> in planet coaster they do little jingles whenever you put them down like chief beef gulpy it was fun uh cool and then we need, of course, Le Bathroom. And we actually have this part of this building just back here a little bit. Nice. See if we can't set this up so it's not all like that because that doesn't look great. All right, so we'll set up our path like that. We'll come over here like that. Very nice. Cool. And then we'll have one entrance into here, essentially. It's right there. Maybe two. Maybe two. Well, this will all get changed over later on. Um, but in the meantime, we have those set up, that set up. Now we need to block off our... Uh, I just remembered that we should probably block off the front uh, area here, shouldn't we? <laughs> we need to build our own um, little thing. You know what I'm just realizing? I need to back this whole thing up. I need to back up the entire... There it is. Oh, that's what it is. Back it up just a smidge... Well, maybe not. You know what? No. No, we're going to leave it. And I'm going to cheat a little bit here by turning... I'm still very worried about our money. I'm probably going to come back through and, like, redo the entire entranceway <laughs> like, later on. I can feel it already uh, after we're, like, kind of set with money. Um, but, hey, tell you what. In the end, in the meantime... Oops, let's back this up. Try again. I don't want to have those two ends come down. Are we going to turn this into a... There we go. There. Turn that into a log wall. And bring this down all the way. So our guests can see what's going on. Right? So yeah, now they can see. Compared to a guest, you can kind of see in. Um, yeah, I'm just... It's funny, I haven't played Planet Zoo in like a, a week or so. I can already see where my, uh, my ex habitat design is like lacking. <laughs> kind of severely already. Um, anyways, anyways, let's see. What else do we need? What else do we need? Like, I already want to change that up already. We don't have the money for it, though. So we need to put the donation box up. I remember that. We need the donation box there. Let's put one there. Three? I don't know. Sure, why not? Um, we need to be not dumb. So we need to educate our people as well. So let's bring up the media, the education board. And wow, how basic is this? <laughs> I can't wait till we have money and I feel more comfortable. It feels so basic. Um, and we'll set that up for flamingos in a little bit. They're also going to need some education speakers. We'll just kind of have them out and about. Oh my gosh, this looks so bad. Uh, that's fine. Conservation boards. We need that as well, right? Put one there. 
one there. Um, what else? Vista point? No, we don't want the Vista point. How about an uh, animal talk? Is that worth it to do right away? How much is the animal talk? It's 100 buckaroos. We have 14,000. Yeah, sure. We'll put that there. Can we assign a... Uh, oh, we can. There you go. Greater from uh, Flamingo. Habitat does not contain selected species. It will. It will. I feel like I'm like missing something very obvious and big. Utility. Power! We need power. That's what we're missing. All right. Let's put that back here. Have it kind of have an offshoot right there. There we go. Okay, what are these other ones? I don't want this screen on. Um, water temperature regulator. Water treatment. But we need the water treatment. I know that for sure. Is there a way to make that screen not pop up every single time that you select the water uh, pop treatment stuff? Um, cool, let's put that down. I've been playing a lot of City Skylines. Do we need to put pipes down? <laughs> or is it just automatic? I think it's automatic. Um, oh yeah, it has an area of influence, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, that's what they do. Now, is that going to count as the whole thing? It's like clipping it. Just barely. Does it count for the whole thing? Uh, and water temperature regulator. Do we need that right away? Or is that more for like water temperature regulator? Uh, water temperature regulators will change the temperature of connected water bodies to the target temperature over time. Larger water bodies will take longer to change temperature. The water cannot go below freezing temperature. Placing the uh, object will trigger the water temperature regulator view mode. Illustrating, the, okay, yeah, it triggers it. It triggers me. Uh, I don't know if we need it or not. I'm going to just say no. <laughs> I'm going to say we're good and move on from there. Uh, okay, anything else? It's mainly in facilities that we have missed. Oh, bins and park benches and uh, picnic benches and stuff. Okay. Basic guest needs. Let's have that come down this way. We'll have that come down this way. 25 bucks each. Not too bad. Uh, we'll have trash cans leading up here. And recycle. We'll do both here. Uh, don't feed the animals, okay? Because this counts as like security or something. And also, be quiet. Wow, this is so bad. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it just because I'm... I, I hold myself to a certain standard, okay? I hold myself to a certain standard. I am just throwing it out the window right now. <laughs> there we go. Let's put, set these up for flamingos. It will, it'll tell me if it's not powered, right? I, I, I'm assuming it will. Oh, we need a animal talk lady or gentleman. So let's hire an educator. There you go. Now, how often does the education thing go on? Scenery rating. Oh, it wants a scenery rating to be better? I mean, okay, that's cool. It goes off every March. Well, it's February right now, so that actually makes sense. We're going to make it go in April to give them a little bit more. Not assigned to a work zone. We don't really need a work zone right now, do we? Don't really need a work zone, I don't think. Conservation boards. Uh, da, 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 da. How do I change? There we go. The bee population is declining. I actually just read an article uh, yesterday about that. And also deforestation. Kind of go hand in hand. All right, let's unpause the game. I'm going to duplicate this over here. <laughs> Everything's a question right now. Everything is a question. We're going to make some more trash bins. Uh, we have to wait for our flams, our flams, our flamengs to be ready from quarantine. They're going to quarantine now. Don't like our path set up back here. It is very backwards. There we go. There we go. That's actually a little bit better. If we can get that hooked up. Can we get this hooked up too? Nope. All right. So there they go. So how long, how do we tell what's going on here? Uh, oh, okay. So we are inefficient. We are not effective at all. Three out of eight. Yearly running costs. Yearly power costs. 400. Negative area. Yeah. So this whole area is like, no, we don't like it. Because there's no scenery. Speaking of scenery, we haven't done anything inside the flamingo area, have we? Well, again, I'm kind of waiting to see once they're ready if we can split that habitat in half. I'm still sitting there waiting for that. That's why I did two on each half because we can quickly flip over the education boards and all that kind of fun stuff over to whatever animal if we do split it right down the middle right there. Uh, okay, so how do we tell what's going on? You're a male, you're an adult, you're under... Oh, okay, under quarantine. Let's speed up the time. Our guests are going to be standing there like, huh? Waiting for animal talk to start. Oh, okay. <laughs> the zoo ticket price is great. What are you going to talk about? There's no one there. Oh, okay, you're doing it. Yes. Yeah, come look at our great flamingo habitat. I still have $11,000. I kind of feel like that's a good amount. 
Hey, two of them are ready. Let's wait till all three of them are ready. I'll just speed up the time. There we go. All right, all three are ready. Let's move them into our uh, possibly flamingo habitat, but probably going to be a something else habitat. And we're going to do that next episode. I'm looking at the time now. We're probably going to go ahead and wrap up there, which is kind of good. Uh, once we kind of figure out what's going on in our uh, flamingo habitat, it's probably good. we got our zoo kind of on a starting track to hopefully make money, which at the moment we're not. <laughs> but we still have 11000 So hopefully... Oh, look, people are actually buying stuff right off the bat, too. Um... But, yeah, no, so hopefully next episode we can kind of get everything set up. But uh, with that said, let's check on our flamingos, check on their terrain. Uh, they need a hard shelter. Their terrain sucks. They have 309. Okay, we're going to split this in half. Let's do that. And then we'll pick up um, next episode with building. Uh, we may even do, like, three different habitats. Like, maybe, like, one coming down to here. And that's the flamingos right there. Another one in the middle right there. You know what a lot of it is? We can get rid of all this back here. And just have it come straight across. Yeah. I think that's a big reason. Oops. Let's start it up here. Yeah, we'll just have it go straight across up here. It'll be easier to kind of split it up. Oops, come on, let me... Don't do this to me. <laughs> let me let me put it straight in night. Oh, I see. I have to bring it way out here, and then we can hook it up however we would like. There we go. Cool. And then, yeah, like I said, we're going to split it j around in half. Generally in half. And, yep, we'll do it like that. Cool. All right. So, that, that'll help out a lot. Wow, that looks like such a rundown, like, pitter-patter zoo, doesn't it? <laughs> it's it's hitting home. We have a zoo that's kind of similar to this in, uh, uh, where yeah, where I'm from. And, uh, yeah, it's hitting a little bit too hard to home. It's like, mmm, that looks like the zoo that isn't that great. <laughs> but we'll work our way up, right? We'll work our way up. We can turn this off. We can turn this off, too, for now. Um, and we're going to move our... We'll leave that there. We'll leave the donation bin right in the middle for whatever animal we put there. But yeah, I think... Um, let's go ahead and unpause. Uh, no, I'm not going to wrap up. Not quite yet. Because I want to actually make their environment a little bit better. Just a little bit. So let's uh, put up a hard shelter for them. Am I gonna... Oh, I hope I have this blueprint. Uh, what would you call it? Not a sh... It's not a shelter. Yeah, not the in-game one. Oh, Canopy canopy it's from simply Sav oh no oh no <laughs> so i just gotta remember that yeah a lot of them aren't going to be available for what i would like to do uh those weren't the canopies i was looking these are not the canopies you're looking for it was yeah literally not the ones i was looking for can i filter this where blueprints oh look at that shelter no Medium shelter, maybe it'll be in here. Oh darn. Ah, that's okay, I'll probably just build my own. I say that as I'm gonna keep looking through. Because I'm pretty sure the pieces that are included with this blueprint shelter that someone made. Insufficient funds, oh no. Um, only use plaster pieces. I'm pretty sure they only use plaster pieces, so it'll be great to just throw it on up there real quick. All right, well, anyways, I can't find that stupid canopy. And, you know, we'll just build out our own and everything in the next episode. I think that is a good place for us to kind of wrap up. Uh, you know, we have the bones of our area out. I'm sure that, um, you know, I probably could go out and expand a whole bunch and make it look nice with our 10,000. And we'll do that next time. Uh, but, yeah, for me and my first franchise, Zoo, we didn't go bankrupt. There's people walking around. We have an animal where we have multiple animals. They're not dead or dying or sick. You know what? For me, that's fine. <laughs> that is fine. The sun is setting, so it's 
kind of a good time to go ahead and wrap up and everything. So, hey, yeah, thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. Um, like I said, we'll, on uh, the next few episodes, we'll add in our next animal over here. What do you think we should add in uh, for our neighbors to our flamingos? Uh, yeah, we'll hopefully get the buildings kind of built up a little bit more, get our main street built up more, get a small exhibit animal as well. And, um, yeah, overall, we'll, we'll make this place look a lot better. Don't worry, don't worry. If you've been with me for a little bit, you know I'm not going to leave it like this or anything. So we'll, we'll make it look better. So, hey, if this is your first time hanging out, uh, don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button there. Stay up to date with all the fun uh, franchise zoo stuff going on. Also hit the like button. It does help out the channel. Helps out the video there. So yeah, hey, thanks so much for everyone for hanging out for this first franchise zoo episode. And yeah, we will see you all in the next one.